You're still watching Ways Now, International Day for Preventing the Exploitation of the Environment in War and Armed Conflict. It's observed on the 6th of November. Though humanity has always counted its war casualties in terms of dead, um, the wounded soldiers and civilians, destroyed cities and also their livelihood, the environment has often remained the unpublicized victim of war. Water wells have been polluted, crop touched, forests cut down, soils, soils poisoned and animals killed to gain military advantage. Now the United Nations attaches great importance to ensuring that action on the environment is part of the conflict prevention, peacekeeping and peace um, building strategies because there can be no durable peace if the natural resource that sustains livelihood and ecosystems are destroyed. So this is very, very important. You know, this actually brings to mind what happened in um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yes, I was actually, say that. yes. And for because years, for yes, years they, they couldn't. They, it it actually the affected the climate, the mm. the soil. Nobody was able to plant anything mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. until years after that. Mm. It was you know possible after a lot of treatment. They let the land fallow for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it, it it is very important for everybody to mm -hmm. take this into cognizance. Yeah. And yeah, but when I saw this day, I was just, it just brought, it, although it's not really, really grand like that, but it brought to mind the conversation around what we're having today. Mm -hmm. Because some people's businesses were burnt down, you know. I mean, this is like, it's almost like war as well, you know. Uh, their yeah, livelihood, their livelihood destroyed. Yeah. No, that's the truth. No, now. I know. Mm. I just mm. thought of it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. All right. So who's gonna start first? Um, Aki, what did you find first in the news today? Why do I have to start first? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so my news is from all Africa, and it's quite an interesting one. Um, let me take the headlines first, and I'll tell you why I think it's interesting. So it says Nigeria no more foreign medical trips for Buhari. Senate wants state house officials. Hmm. Now, why this is interesting, let me just read a phrase from it. It says, the Senate on Thursday issued a strong warning to state house officials that henceforth President Mohamedou, <laughs> thank you, Buhari, has embarked on foreign trips for medical um, attention and they're telling them enough is enough. So it's quite enough. And you know why this story struck me? I'm saying, is this an aftermath? of the protest. Mm. Are we being heard? Are people now being conscious of the things? Although they did, if you read the story, they did approve the amount, but they're saying, you know, we have approved this amount for you to spend on health, but you're not going to fly anymore. You're going to be treated here. And I think it just brings, and it brings attention to what's happening. It's saying that people are now conscious of the things that they're proving, conscious of the way money is being spent. And I hope this continues. I hope it's not just a flash in the pan. I hope we begin to question things. I hope the people that we send to represent us begin to actually represent us and our money is put into good use. Imagine that all the top officials are receiving treatment in Nigeria. Imagine what the will happen to our will health system. Exactly. The will and so be I just I just saw that it's for me it's it looks like a light at the end of but the tunnel. But I think you so, know funny mm -hmm. the funny thing is that it is actually not nice that you have to take your own precedent. What if the place you are going to, they don't like your country before and they've been looking for ways? It's true. So I, I think, because even Nelson, Nelson Mandela, God mm -hmm. rest his soul, before he passed, he was being treated in South Africa. Like you can't, you you're, can't, you're there are some things far. that national that, that pride should even tell you that. That is far. If anything that we cannot fix here in this country should not, mm. cannot be fixed anywhere yeah, in the look world. At, look at what happened with Bor um, Boris, um, Boris Johnson. Yeah, when he caught when he, COVID. When he caught the COVID, yeah. he was actually treated in yeah. the UK. Absolutely. So why that's can't you, our president, president be treated? <laughs> why won't he be treated here? Well, I hope they follow through because yes. I don't want, I don't like mm. lip, lip service. All right, oh, so Isi, what did you find you know, for us in the news? It's usually the play in Nigeria. <laughs> okay, in the news, this story actually struck me because, or it, it resonates with me because it is so important that we do not um, look at Nigeria let me let me throw in a bit of um, humor into this. Somebody actually said Anachi and Chaos. <laughs> which is Anachi and Chaos. Anachi and Chaos. So it's Anachi and Chaos. We shouldn't throw Nigeria into a state of anarchy and chaos because FRC and carrying guns, mm. why would they say FRC and should carry guns? Mm. I think this was actually proposed by the House of Representatives committee on FRCN and this was during the core 2020 budget performance and 2021 defense. So 
to me, I don't think it's okay for everybody to carry guns. Somebody actually even said on Twitter that um, they should just pre prep up and give um, Loma, Lasma, BIO, they should all carry guns. I think if you have to carry guns, then that means you're throwing light into the concept that probably there is a problem in the country. We have not so everybody should be aware of that. Alert. Should be should be at alert, and that also makes the civilians uneasy because you've given only the police and the SARS guns and they've turned the whole place. You need to hear the chilling stories that are coming out from this mm -hmm. the um, panel. The panel. Yeah. So why would they do this to um, mm -hmm. FRCN, FRCN? Especially on the highway hmm. when not, you, you can't it actually track where? anything. You want to say something? No, no, not at all. I'm just <laughs> amazed. And I, I'm just amazed, and probably maybe the story would develop, and then we would see why. Because right now, I really cannot see why. There's no they justification said, for they it, said actually. They wanted it to be a safer environment for. So, do we have the, reports for the for, core? Do we have reports that a lot of them were dying because they did not have defend themselves? Actually, this had out, no, not rarely, but what they said that it, it was in 1992 that this they, they were uh, they were supposed to. It, or should, should I call it an act or so that they were supposed to have guns? So for As some reason, of, yeah. for some reason, it wasn't implemented. So now they're trying to implement it. Hmm. We we'll okay. wait for, we'll wait for yeah for in twenty twenty one. My story is just I want to just lament as we talk around the, <laughs> the U.S. Trumpy. election. <laughs> <laughs> there are too many things going around from uh, Paula. Paula White, <laughs> uh, Kabashin, and you, asking. You guys had to see. So if you follow me on Instagram, Instagram. I would post what Uwa did before the show. Uwa was so she, dramatic. She was Kabashi and calling the angels <laughs> from Africa. I said, ah, our angels have not finished solving our problem. They will not leave. So, so I, saw some, I saw some pictures on, Twitter, on Instagram saying, saying that the angels returning because they, they refused them visas. <laughs> so they are returning back to Nigeria. But I have just been following the elections very, very keenly. And um, um, for me, what I wanted to draw from this U.S. elections, you know, because everybody keeps saying that, oh, President Trump is irrational, is this, is that. Mm -hmm. If you look at the voting currently right now, I mean, I, I listened to a video shortly before the show of Bernie Sanders talking about the, he was predicting what was going to happen, mm -hmm. how Trump would seem like he's leading, how he will come out and declare himself winner. Mm -hmm. Exactly that it Trump, President <laughs> Trump did that. He came out at 2 a.m. and declared himself winner. And he now said, see, I'm telling you this that that male... So there, are, so, yes, so there are many allegations oh, that he's so throwing. Like, he's throwing a lot of allegations that the um, male um, the male voting is, um, is flawed, that there's a lot of fraud going on. These are baseless allegations because you've not really brought out proof to yeah. say... Mm -hmm that this has happened, you know. So, I mean, there are too many things, too many uh, dynamics playing out. But I wanted to draw an attention to the numbers. Mm -hmm. You see how close, you know, the numbers, the figures are. I was saying to, to a lot of people that care to listen, I said, see, don't be fooled, because it said that in the history of the United States, this is the highest turn, um, turnout, turnout of voters in the think, century. Yeah. Yeah, now, so don't think that this is just only tied because people are tired of Trump. No. People came out both for support of Trump and yeah. Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You understand? So a lot of people are coming out. And if you see the numbers that, I mean, the margins, it's very, very slim. Only very few places that the margins are really high. But the margins are very slim. So this goes to tell you that whatever you think Trump is, is irrational, he's a racist, he's this. Has supported. It ha he has a lot of people backing him, exactly. you know, supporting him. And I'm just hoping that he concedes if eventually Biden wins the elections, you know, and he's declared um, president he should just concede let us not go into that place of where they will not be dragging each other because he's already Ooh, filed in three used to he's, he's filed in three courts already oh mm. Ooh, see i think that they should experience a little bit of what africans go through especially nigerians so it's okay let's see how it plays out let's see how their justice system plays out so for me I'm ready for the drama. Well, the justice system, did you not see what he did shortly before the elections, where he appointed the Supreme Uwa. Court well, You're just validating what I'm saying. It's looking like something you're familiar with, yes. right? Yes. Hey, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was so Let interesting. How it you know how Americans always feel like they, are the, they know everything. They uh, I come and see what they're doing now. Oh, I don't worry. Me, I'm, I'm, ready. Not, I'm not rooting for anything, but go Biden. Go Biden. <laughs> go Biden. Go Biden. Well. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to win. Yes. Well, all of you are waiting for him to because you think he will give you a visa. You'll be shocked. No, see, I'm waiting for the visa. The only reason Nigerians listen, 
Let us be honest with ourselves. I want some sanity. Listen, let us be honest with ourselves. The only reason Nigerians are rooting for Biden is because of visa. Tell yourself the truth. That is an assumption. Okay. What an assumption. I'm not rooting for anybody. I just want house. I'm not rooting for anybody. I'm just in for the ride. I really want to see how this will play out and how they would respond because now. The story is looking very familiar. Yes. Okay. Mm. It's someone is crying foul because it's not winning. And then let's see how it works out. Absolutely. What's different? Which is so Absolutely. normal in, in an right, African so election, <laughs> which is not normal with a, an American world superpower Uncle, election. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you after the break to discuss strategies for um, business continuity. Stay with us. We'll be right back.